It is better to offer no excuse than a bad one. It is better to be alone than in bad company. If freedom of speech is taken away, then dumb and silent we may be led, like sheep to the slaughter. My mother was the most beautiful woman I ever saw. All I am I owe to my mother. I attribute my success in life to the moral, intellectual and physical education I received from her. But lest some unlucky event should happen unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I this day declare with the utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. A primary object should be the education of our youth in the science of government. In a republic, what species of knowledge can be equally important? And what duty more pressing than communicating it to those who are to be the future guardians of the liberties of the country? Be courteous to all, but intimate with few, and let those few be well tried before you give them your confidence. True friendship is a plant of slow growth, and must undergo and withstand the shocks of adversity before it is entitled to appellation. A free people ought not only to be armed, but disciplined, to which end a uniform and well-digested plan is requisite, and their safety and interest require that they should promote such manufactories as tend to render them independent of others for essential, particularly military, supplies. In politics as in philosophy, my tenets are few and simple. The leading one of which, and indeed that which embraces most others, is to be honest and just ourselves and to exact it from others, meddling as little as possible in their affairs where our own are not involved. If this maxim was generally adopted, wars would cease and our swords would soon be converted into reap hooks and our harvests be more peaceful, abundant, and happy. Human happiness and moral duty are inseparably connected. 99% of failures come from people who make excuses. I hope I shall possess firmness and virtue enough to maintain what I consider the most enviable of all. There is nothing which can better deserve our patronage than the promotion of science and literature. Knowledge is in every country the surest basis of public happiness. Guard against the impostures of pretended patriotism. Labor to keep alive in your breast that little spark of celestial fire called conscience. Perseverance and spirit have done wonders in all ages. Associate yourself with men of good quality, if you esteem your own reputation, for tis better to be alone than in bad company. Let us therefore animate and encourage each other, and show the whole world that a freeman, contending for liberty on his own ground, is superior to any slavish mercenary on earth. Few men have virtue to withstand the highest bidder.